Welcome back! Today I'm showing you how I made this wooden clock. I decided to add a little character to it with metal inlay. Now pouring molten metal might sound a little scary, but with the help of my friends at burns i I was able to do this very easily. Let's get started! For this project, I decided to use walnut. This is a 1x8 piece of walnut and I cut it up so that I had a square piece. Next, I found the center of the square. I did draw a horizontal and vertical line but ignore that. The best way to find the center of a square is to draw two diagonals across and the point of intersection is the center. Then I picked where I wanted to make the stripes. I wanted the metal stripes to get closer together from center to edge. So I added an extra 1 8 inch for every consecutive spot. I also made sure I stopped short of the center because I didn't want the clock movement to be drilled through the metal. Then I used a quarter inch trim bit on the trim router and adjusted the depth to about a quarter inch. I used a scrap 1x8 for support and clamped the pieces to my workbench. Using a combination square, I routed the grooves. Now it is important to make sure that the combination square is well secure and doesn't move at all as you route. And of course you see that a few of my lines moved because I was only able to clamp on one end. Once the lines were routed, I set it up to add the molten metal. I am using the burns matic ST2200 detail torch and a plumbing solder. This is the same solder I used to solder copper wise in my LED lamp project. I slowly used the flame from the torch to melt the solder and as the solder melted, I made sure that it dropped into the grooves. I found that I had to be careful about two things. One, I had to make sure that the solder constantly melted and dropped down into the grooves so there was no gap between the drops. And second, I had to keep the flame as parallel to the board as I could so I did not accidentally burn the board, which I did a few times in the beginning. To keep the flame parallel to the board, it was important to use a long piece of solder. I found that as my fingers got closer to the flame, I started to point the flame downwards and that would scorch the board. And you can see I got better as I went on to the later stripes. Once all the grooves were filled, I used my belt sander with 180 grit sandpaper to sand away all the extra metal and make everything smooth. I was hoping that some of the burn marks would come away as well when I sanded, which it did. There are a few left, but that's okay. I think it adds a bit of character to it. Now on the back, I found the center and drilled a hole for my clock movement to fit through. But before I put the clock movement through, I applied a finish on the walnut to bring out its rich brown color. Then I added the clock movement and I was actually debating between white and black and I ultimately decided to go with black because I did not want the white to clash with the metal strips. And here is my wooden clock with metal inlay. Now it isn't perfect, it does show that it was my first trial, but I really enjoyed making it and I think this is going to be a really fun technique to try out again. Now here's another cool project using burn somatic torches. Or you might like this project. See you next time!